There has been a big growth in popularity of Cardano recently, so I thought it might be useful to go through a tutorial on how to set up one of the official wallets for Cardano, that is Uroi. It's really important to set up one of these wallets, especially if you plan on holding ADA for a long time, so you can participate in the governance of the whole community, and more importantly, to earn your staking rewards, which add up to about 5% over a year. So let's get straight to the tutorial. I'm a bit under the weather at the moment, so I'm sorry if there's any sniffling throughout the video. But if you appreciate the commitment for powering through, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Right, so let's start the process of setting up the wallet. So we'll just throw your Roy wallet into Google, and the first one that should come up on the list here is uroi walletcom that is the official website so i'm just going to click on that here now so the uroi wallet actually sits as a plugin on your browser so i would recommend actually using either a laptop or a tablet or something to actually set up the wallet so when you want to download it what you need to do is just come down here to download and select the browser that you commonly use so i'm just going to use chrome to set up this wallet and then to just double check that you're adding the correct extension just double check that it has over 200,000 different users so i'm just going to add this to chrome here add extension so once you have that done then you need to just come up here to the extensions button on the top right hand corner and click on the Uroi wallet and this will start the process of setting it up so i'm just going to choose english as the language you need to agree the terms and services continue then you have a choice here between a simple and advanced wallet what i would do here in this case is just go for the simple version the next step here just asks you about cardano payment urls so all you have to do here is just skip it this is more for businesses and hit confirm the next step here is just choosing the type of wallet that you want to create so you can choose to either connect it to a hard wallet or create a light wallet there on your browser or else you can restore a wallet that you might have on a different device so for this example, I'm just going to create a wallet, a normal one on our desktop here. So I create wallet. Then it'll ask you to pick what cryptocurrency you're going to be using in the wallet. So I'm going to use Cardano here and then hit create wallet. So then you will be asked to actually just create a name for your wallet. So I'm just going to put in a random name here to put in test wallet here, for example. Um, and then you want to choose a spending password. So this password is very important. So whenever you want to actually move any cryptocurrency, in or out of the wallet here you're going to have to use this password every time so make sure and remember this password and write it down and keep it safe so i'm just going to create a random password here okay so i put in some passwords here now so i'm going to hit create wallet so the next step is going to be very important that you pay attention to this so this is going to show you the recovery phrase if your device ever gets broken or stolen you can use this recovery phrase to restore your wallet on a different device so you don't lose your cardano so just pay attention to this it's going to be 15 words in a random order you need to write these down and keep them in a very safe place that you're not going to lose them so you can see here they actually prompt you to write it down here as well so make sure and write down all of these 15 words in the correct order and keep them in a very very safe place so once you have it written down you can proceed to the next step and the next step is actually re-inputting these 15 words in the correct order again so i'm just going to do that for this wallet here And once you have re-input that recovery phrase, they just remind you here again just how important it is. So that is how easy it is to actually set up one of these wallets. Now what I'm going to do is actually just move over to my own actual wallet and explain all the different sections on this wallet and how it works and how to delegate your ADA to a stake pool and the things you need to know about that. So I've just jumped over to my own wallet here just so we can see how it works when you actually have some ADA in it. So I'll have a look at all of these tabs here. So on the first tab, the dashboard here, it will just give you a summary of how much ADA you have and the total amount of rewards that you have earned so far. The transactions tab then speaks for itself. This is all the ADA you have sent to and from the wallet. Then you can come to the send section here. So if I want to remove ADA from my wallet here and send it to a different wallet, say, or send it back to an exchange, all I would have to do here is copy in the address from the exchange and paste it in here to the receiver, the amount I want to transfer, and that's pretty much it. Similarly, if you want to transfer ADA from an exchange to this wallet, you just come to the Receive tab here. So if you want to send any of your ADA from an exchange to this wallet, all you need to do is come in here, copy your wallet address, which is here, and you can copy that into the exchange and transfer it across. It's very straightforward. In fairness, there's nothing too complex about it at all. The next tab here then is the voting tab. This allows you to participate within the community. So previously in here, you would have been able to vote, say for example, 
on what projects get funds as part of the Cardano Fund Tree program. This is where you are going to be able to participate basically in the governance of Cardano. The last tab down here, the delegation list, is definitely the most important one. So this allows you to delegate your ADA to a stake pool and earn those staking rewards. So there's over 2,000 or so different stake pools that you can choose from. So I'm going to just tell you about a few different things that you need to know about them and how to actually go about actually choosing one. So if we have a look at the list here, let's just take the top one, for example, here, the, the HODL ADA one here. So this has a return at the moment over the last 30 days of 4.75%. So I wouldn't worry about the return too much in the differences between the two of them because over the year they will average out roughly around to the 5% level. So I wouldn't worry about making your decision based on a few little basis points here or there. It won't really matter at the end of the year, there's not going to be much difference between any of the pools. The next important bit of information here is the pool size. So when you're delegating to a stake pool, you don't want to delegate to a stake pool that is oversaturated. So the saturation limit, I think, on a stake pool at the moment is around 64 million. And I think this is going to reduce sometime in the near future as well. So as you can see, the first one here on the list has 48 million stakes to the pool. So that's 80% of a saturation limit, so you don't really have to worry, but you might want to keep an eye on it in case a lot of more funds actually start to come into it and it reaches its saturation point. If it does then end up reaching that saturation point, you could end up with some lower returns. So the next column here will just show you the costs. So this is not the cost directly to you, this is the cost to the whole pool. So you're not going to be paying 1.5% plus 500. So this is the cost to the, everybody who's delegated to the pool. So this 500 plus 1.5% is going to be split across everybody who is delegated to this pool. So this 1.5% and the 500, they will actually go to the stake pool operator. They will take the cut of the rewards before it is given out to everybody else. And this is to help them run the actual stake pool. The only thing you need to keep an eye out for is not to choose a stake pool that has a 100% rate here in the costs. So this would be a variable rate of 100%. That would mean you would be getting none of the staking rewards. So the normal variable rate charged by stake pool operators is in the region of say 1 to 5% or so. Somewhere in the region of 1 to 5% is perfectly fine. The next column then just shows you the average cost as a percentage. The next column then is the pledge and I believe this is how much the actual stake pool operator has put into the stake pool themselves. Most of the people who operate these stake pools are really active in the community. So you can come down here, for example, and look at their Twitter accounts, their websites, and find out a bit more about the stake pool operators, because that is probably the most important factor is you go with somebody that you trust. So when you have finally decided on what stake pool you wanted to go with, you just simply hit the delegate button here and type in your spending password, which you created when you set up the wallet and hit delegate. I'm just going to come back to the dashboard here. So it will actually take you about 20 days or so to actually get your first rewards. So rewards are actually paid out every five days. So after every epoch, so every epoch lasts five days. So once you delegate your ADA to a stake pool, it will take about two weeks to actually register with that stake pool. And then you will start earning rewards. But then there is a two week delay between when you have earned them and when they will be paid out. So that means you won't actually receive any ADA for four epochs, which is about 20 days or so. So that's pretty much it for my tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it some way useful and it wasn't too confusing. And um, thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions or any other video tutorials that you would like to see me do, make sure to let me know in the comment section. I'll talk to you again soon.